Welcome to another deck profile and deck unboxing on the channel. Today we're taking a look at one of the most popular legendary Pokemon, Deoxys. The Deoxys V Battle Deck. Now Deoxys is a really interesting Pokemon because there's different forms of it available. And uh, if you were curious about Deoxys and you wanted to upgrade this deck even more, there is a Deoxys box you can buy, which includes the V Star and V Max of this particular Pokemon. So quick, easy upgrade. You just cop that box, this deck, and you're chilling. Let's crack this bad boy open, show you guys everything that's included. And this deck also released alongside the Zara Aura deck when it did come out. So if you wanna see the Zara Aura deck, you guys can check it out. I'll leave a link down below. And if you wanted to have some fun games with a friend, which aren't too complicated, these level one V battle decks are really, really great. The competitive levels of the decks are very similar to each other. So if you wanted to buy two of these V battle decks, maybe the Deoxys and the Zara Aura, you can put them against each other for a pretty fair, balanced one-to-one -one battle. So here's a look at everything included. We got the Deoxys right here. Let's just pop this plastic open and show you guys everything inside. First up, we have a really cool Deoxys coin. It's a really nice red jumbo Deoxys coin. This is the only way you can get this coin. And the Zara Aura coin is really cool too. Here's a look at the Zara Aura coin. You get this really cool Deoxys themed play mat. It's all paper, so uh, pretty easy to just transport and move around. But you got Deoxys right here, and then you have all the layout of the board state right here, active spot, bench, price cards, etc. You also have a little guide, so if you're new and you're maybe falling behind on what you got to do per turn, you can just read this and you got your back covered. Then you flip it around, and you have a poster as well. So if you want to have posters in your room, I don't really have posters in my room anymore, but yeah, you got a Deoxys versus Zara Aura kind of poster right there. Next up, you have a V Battle Deck Quick Start Rule Book. So if you want to learn how to play, maybe you want a little bit of reading material, you can read this book on the go or however you want. My recommendation is that you learn how to play online. You can download the Pokemon Trading Card Game Live clients on your smartphone or on your uh, computer and you can play for free. It's really easy to learn, maybe takes an hour max and then you're good to go. Package of cards right here, which are not used to be played with, but they're just like little info cards. So if you're new, these are pretty handy. But once you actually understand what they tell you, you don't need these anymore. You can throw them away. It teaches you about poison, how you take 10 damage per turn. We got confusion as well, burned. Uh, we have sleep and paralysis and then what are special conditions and a little guide of how to play basically like what you can do on your turn similar to what I showed you guys on the play map. Damage counters right here. They're uh, cardboard but very shiny. Shiny shiny cardboard like the Pokemon cards we know and love. Upgrade guidebook which is pretty handy. This one will teach you all about how to upgrade your Deoxys deck and if you flip it around it'll teach you about the Zara Aura deck as well. We got Deoxys V. 210 HP and it has two attacks. We've got Psychic and Power Edge. So Psychic is two energy cost. It does 30 damage plus 30 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So the attack has a very high like potential to do a lot of damage. But if your opponent's Pokemon doesn't have energy on it, it's uh, kind of a useless attack, but it does have another attack, Power Edge, for three energies, two Psychic and one Colorless, it does 140 damage, which isn't much by any means. But it is enough to two-shot a lot of Pokemon, including V-Star Pokemon, which usually have about 270 to 280 HP. This Deoxys V is a promo card exclusive to this starter deck, so it's the only way to obtain this art of the card. And if you, again, want to upgrade this deck, Deoxys V has some pretty decent VMAX and V-Star uh, cards, so it's not the best in the world, but it is still fun to play. And if you want to play with Deoxys, that's that's what you got to do. You got to get the VMAXs or the V-Stars. The V alone isn't going to cut it. You also get a code card right here, which will give you this entire 60 card deck in the online game. So if you want to learn how to use this deck online, that's the best way to do it. We have the deck box right here. It's a Deoxys themed deck box. We got a bunch of art and then we'll just open it up and show you guys all the cards included. Now, typically these boxes do not come organized at all, uh, which is very frustrating. So I'm gonna spend a minute real quick to organize these cards and I'll be right back. Okay, so the deck is now organized and I gotta say this deck pleasantly surprised me. There's a lot of good cards in this deck, which a lot of people will be using in their actual main competitive decks uh, going forward this spring and summer. So first off, let's again talk about Deoxys V or just show it to you real quick. And then now we got the energy count. So there's a lot of energies in this deck. Let's count it out together. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Oh! 
18 oh cards are energies. There's a, it's, this is a 60 card deck, bruh. One third of the deck is energies. I know that's gonna annoy some people out there, but you need energy cards to play the game. But 18 is a lot. You can definitely cut down on the energy count. So anyways, let's get to the Pokemon now in this deck. So we have the star of the show. We got Deoxys V, but you only get one copy, right? It can't be always there at all times. You have to have some other Pokemon in this deck. So this is where things get really interesting. We have a non holo rare copy of Cresselia. Now this is the ideal Pokemon card you're gonna to wanna to start off with on your turn one if you're going second because you get to charge up your bench Pokemon or your Pokemon in general with the attack Crescent Glow. It's an amazing attack. If you're using this attack on your very first turn uh, and like you went second in the grand scheme of things, you get to put three energies onto your Pokemon, which means you can have a Deoxys V attacking with its big attack the following turn, which is pretty scary. But if it's not your first turn of attacking, you only get to attach one energy. And then you got Photon Laser. It does 30 damage for two energies, which is really bad. However, if you have at least five energies in play, it ups the damage by nine to 120. So if you use the Crescent Glow on the first turn and then Photon Laser the second, you're gonna guarantee hit that 120 mark, which is enough to knock out a lot of Pokemon, including stage one Pokemon. Cresselia right there, a really strong card, even late game too. If you have a board state set up with a lot of energies on the field, being able to hit for 120 is pretty scary for a one prize card Pokemon. So we got Cresselia and it's only one copy. Would have liked to see more. Three copies of Boltoy. Now the attack isn't that great. It's triple spin for the cost of two colorless energies. It says flip three coins. This attack does 20 damage for each head. It's not a fan of that attack at all. Very luck based. Uh, then we got Claydol right here at two copies, a little bit better. We got two attacks. We got spinning attack for 40 and then coinciding figures. 90 damage plus if you, you and your opponent have the same number of benched Pokemon, this does 90 more damage. That's 180 damage potentially. Next up, we got Drifloon. If you don't know about Drifloon, it is the lore. The, the lore of Drifloon is very scary. It's kind of like Hypno and Drowsy if you're one of the OGs like your boy. Uh, but yeah, we got one attack, triple spin. It's one psychic energy. Flip three coins, this attack does 10 damage for each head. So it's basically ball toy. But instead of two colorless as the cost, where it does 20 for each, it's just one psychic energy only, and it does 10 for each. So, not really a fan of Drifloon. Yeah, three copies of Drifloon. Next up, we got Drift Blim at two copies. It has the attack Spooky Balloon, one psychic energy, put two damage counters on one of your opponent's benched Pokemon, and it does 50 damage to the active. So, this attack is really really good this card is fantastic especially in a v battle deck like this where you don't have cards like boss's orders which will switch your opponent's active pokemon with the choice of your choosing Drifloom is great late game because it allows you to clean up pokemon on the bench that are weakened and softened up from your other attacks so we got two copies of Drifloom. this is where things get fantastic we got the gardevoir lineup gardevoir becomes one of the best pokemon in the game this spring and summer with the set release of scarlet and violet so we have Ralts right here, and this is the Ralts a lot of people will be using in their decks. So you got four copies of Ralts included with this starter deck. It has the attack Teleportation Burst for one Psychic Energy. You do 10 damage, and you switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. So you can throw in a useless ball toy or a Pokemon you just don't really care about into the active. So your Ralts can be evolved essentially in the next turn into a Corellia. Now this Corellia isn't that good. There's better copies of Corellia. You're gonna wanna replace this one with. Uh, it has Teleportation Burst, which is the exact same attack as the Ralts, but instead of 10 damage, it does 30. So you get to run away and do 30. Now this Corellia isn't that great, but what is great is the Gardevoir that comes in this deck. Now this card is usually a holo rare card from the set Chilling Rain. However, in the starter deck, you get two non holo copies, which you can exclusively only get in this deck as a non holo There's no other ways to get this card. So it has the ability Shining Arcana, which says once during your turn, you may look at the top two cards of your deck and attach any number of basic energy cards you find there to your Pokemon in any way you like. You put the other cards in your hand. So you draw two cards for free, and then if there's an energy, you get to attach it. That is a fantastic, fantastic ability. On top of that, the attack combines with this ability very well. We have the attack Brainwave for three colorless energies. It does 60 damage, and it does 30 more damage for each psychic energy attached to this Pokemon. So 
well, you're probably only using psychic energy in this deck anyways, you're hitting for a minimum of 150 damage for three energies right there, which is even more damage than what Deoxys can do for three energies. Deoxys does 140 for three, Gardevoir does 150 for three, and you get the ability. So honestly, Gardevoir is low-key the MVP of this deck. Onto the supporter line for this deck, we got Sanya, which will let you put two basic Pokemon from your deck into your hand or two basic energy. So a flexible card, which will allow you to set up the way you want. So you can grab a Deoxys V and just put it into your hand, or maybe you want to grab a Ralts, you can do that as well. So we got Sanya at one copy. Next up, we got Cook. Cook is a card that not many people ever use or ever even see in a deck. Just heals a bunch of damage, but that, that's that's really it. We got Bug Catcher at two copies. It lets you draw two cards and you flip a coin, you draw two more if it's a heads. We got Shauna, which is really good. You shuffle your hand into your deck and draw five cards. So allows you to fix up your hand if you're in a bad situation. Next up, we got Hop. Drawing cards is important and Hop is, uh, is, is stacked in this deck. You got four copies of Hop. It's a pretty standard supporter Pokemon card. Uh, every single set has a card just like this. Gym Trainer at two copies. It says draw two cards and if any of your Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn, you draw two more. So it's kind of like a comeback mechanic card. But if you wanted to change this card with anything, I would recommend Raihan. It's a much better card. You attach a basic energy from your discard pile and then you get to add any card you want from your deck into your hand. Way better than Gym Trainer, which is a draw two and maybe draw two more. Lucky Ice Pop for some healing. Strange that they included this. It's kind of a weird card to have. Heal 20 damage from your active Pokemon and if you uh, healed any damage in this way, you flip a coin and if heads, you get to put it back into your hand so you can reuse it again. Really, really weird card. Next up, we got Evolution Incense at two copies. A very important, important card in this deck. So you can evolve as quick as you can into a Gardevoir. You want to search out the Corellia or the Gardevoir. Or maybe you want to grab a uh, Claydol or Driftblim because you're feeling a little wacky and want to go, go a different route. But yeah, Driftblim is honestly not a bad choice. Oh uh, yeah, we got two copies of Evolution Incense. Really, really good card. This card is fantastic as well. Uh, I, I, I know some stores even buy copies of this card for 50 cents each because it's so good. But yeah, Switch card says, switch your active basic Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. If you do, heal 30 damage from that Pokemon you move to your bench. The most important thing here so you don't make a mistake is your active Pokemon has to be a basic Pokemon. If it's evolved, you're in trouble. You don't want to see it. So just keep in mind, if it's an evolved Pokemon, you can't use this card. It has to be a basic, but it is really handy because if you wanted to attack with Ralts or Corellia, where it forces you to switch your Pokemon to your bench, you have to do it. If you have a bench Pokemon, you have to, then Switch Cart will be the easy way to get that Pokemon like Corellia back into the active position. So you can then evolve it into Gardevoir and then attack with that. Four copies of Great Ball, the Pokemon Church card in this deck outside of Sonya. So you look at the top seven cards of your deck and you add one Pokemon from that to your hand. Let me know what you guys think about the Deoxys V battle deck in the comments down below or Deoxys as a Pokemon. I'm curious what you guys think about it. And uh, if you want to see a Pokemon card tournament vlog, click on screen right now to watch my first ever regional Pokemon card tournament. Catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.